Hi and welcome to MMTV. Thanks for tuning in. This is where we rebrand minds. My name is Mbogo Mombi, best-selling author of Excuse Me, Your Dream is Calling You. So the other day, a friend of mine during one of my motivational talks asked me, Mbogo, how, what is the best way to handle challenges in life? Do they have any relevance in as far as success is concerned? And I thought about it. I was not very sure how best to respond to that. But I thought about a seed. I, I normally like choosing a seed because it has life and uh, every seed then can be able to give us new life. And I thought about a grain of maize and when it is planted in the ground. First and foremost, let me share this. Eh? Where I come from um, in Kenya, maybe in Africa or other countries, once you harvest, then you store the grain. You preserve them and store them to ensure that they're, they're ready for use or even for replanting. But the thing is, when they're in preservation, when they're in the store, when they're in the granary, when they're in that comfort of preservation, they cannot change. They cannot transform. They cannot become something bigger as long as they're in that comfort. If you want the seed to change and bring out the greatness, the power, the potential within it, if you don't want the seed to change and bring out the tree within it, that seed has to be removed from its comfort. <laughs> it has to be disturbed. It has to be destabilized. It has to be, it has to be exposed to challenges. You remove the seed from its comfort. You cover it on the ground, in the ground. You, 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 you put it to risk. When it is covered with the soil, it is all alone. It's no longer in its comfort. But only then does the seed realize this challenge is an opportunity for it to bring the power within it. So the seed is ignited by this challenge, which hitherto was not there. And when it is ignited, the seed starts to change, to develop, to increase, to grow, to transform from within it. And the power is now unleashed. And where there was a seed yesterday, today we have a seedling or a plant. Tomorrow we have a tree. So this challenge helps the seed to focus on the power within it. Because when it is planted alone, it is isolated. The farmer or the owner is not even there. And it realizes, if I do not tap from the power within me, I may rot, I may decay, I may get wasted. And therefore then I want to say this, every challenge in life is a seed of opportunity. Every challenge in life, if positively taken, has the capacity to ignite the greatness within us which under normal circumstances, ordinary circumstances, which under complacency, which under status quo, cannot be ignited, cannot be aroused. So challenges help us to discover, to arouse, to ignite the power within us. Every challenge is a seed of opportunity. If a neck is stalled, even forever, two things are likely to happen. It may rot, it may never change. But when it is incubated through challenges, the power within then is realized. And therefore then, what happens in life, really, the biggest challenge we have in this life, what really kills us as human beings, is not what is happening to us. What kills us is the way we respond to what is happening to us. It is our attitude. And in life, they say, what matters is not what you're looking at. What matters is what you choose to see. And many are the eyes that look, but few are the eyes that see. So in every situation, what matters is how do you choose personally 
to see the situation. And in every situation, you have the choice and the power of how you respond. And this is basically because those situations will help you to reach a level where in the ordinary circumstances, ordinary situations, you would not have been able to reach. And this is MMTV, Rebranding Minds. Thank you for watching.